please rise for the singing of our national anthem. I'm Maryland Governor Larry Hogan, and on behalf of the people of a proud state, I want to extend our most sincere congratulations to the winter graduates of the class of 2020. This is certainly not the graduation day that any of you anticipated or hoped for, but it in no way lessens your accomplishments or diminishes your achievements. In the midst of this unprecedented public health crisis, you persevered and continued to stay Maryland strong. I hope this moment in our history serves as a reminder to all of you to always expect the unexpected and don't get thrown off course when obstacles appear from out of nowhere. During the course of your life, you're going to face moments of great adversity and uncertainty. It's during these times where it becomes more important than ever to remember to stay true to who you are and always stay positive. Together, we are going to defeat this deadly virus. And because of the talent and dedication of the members of the class of 2020, I am incredibly optimistic that the state of Maryland will soon return stronger and better than ever. Congratulations, stay safe, and may God bless you all. Good morning, I'm Chuck White, and it is my honor and privilege to serve as president of Salisbury University. I welcome our students, families, faculty, and staff as we come together to celebrate the Class of 2020 commencement in this, our 96th year as a public institution of higher education. I know all of our graduates worked very hard to complete their program requirements, whether that was this week, last summer, or even last May. And many of those watching worked equally hard supporting our graduates so they could cross the finish line. It will be my privilege to confer your degrees today. All of us share your sense of anticipation and joy. Thanks to all of you for attending this special commencement ceremony for students completing post-baccalaureate advanced degrees. It feels particularly appropriate to have this graduate ceremony separate from those of our students who are achieving their baccalaureate degree. For a graduate degree signifies a higher level of achievement. Whether a professional terminal degree or a step toward other studies, your graduate education will have given you a more advanced base of knowledge in your specialty area. Graduate students have a very different experience on our campus from traditional students. While some may have entered graduate school directly from their undergraduate studies, other students may be older, married, a parent or caregiver, approaching a second career, or 
be it at a variety of other places in their lives and careers. Earning your graduate degree under any of these conditions can be daunting. The challenges you faced to get here are often very different from those you faced as an undergraduate. And yet, you took on that challenge, and today you have earned your degree, an accomplishment that only 13% of Americans have attained. And that should make this day even sweeter. To paraphrase Robert Frost, you took the road less traveled by. 2020 has been a year like none other in our collective memory. I'm inspired by how our campus has met the challenges we faced, the resilience demonstrated in the face of many unknowns, and new skills that we've all developed together. We'll remember 2020 as a year of many challenges, but should not lose sight of the fact that tremendous efforts were made by all to keep us moving forward in our individual and collective goals. Many of us had to learn new ways of doing things, and we all had reason to reflect on the importance of civic responsibility, empathy, and justice in our own lives. Today's graduates have demonstrated remarkable determination and achievement. You are leaders in your field and are sure to make a unique contribution in the world for years to come. And I have no doubt that most of you will achieve your goals. In these uncertain times in our country and our world, knowing the skills that you have developed, the knowledge you hold, and the passion that you bring to your work gives me great hope for our future. Congratulations, and I wish all of you much success and happiness. We also honor Salisbury University's exceptional faculty who have spent countless hours teaching and mentoring our graduates to help them reach this momentous day. In graduate programs, this work takes on additional intensity as faculty have supervised research, theses, dissertations, and final projects, comprehensive exams, and specialized internships all while maintaining heavy teaching and scholarly responsibilities. Members of the faculty, I know I speak for all our graduates when I say thank you for your work, for sharing your knowledge, and for all the support that you give to our students every single day. Indeed, the hard work of our faculty, students, and staff are consistently recognized in national rankings. SU has been recognized as a best college, a great value, and a top university in many other categories by such respected pub publications as US News and World Report, the Princeton Review, Money Magazine, and others. US News and World Report also named several SU programs to its list of best graduate schools for 2020. And our online geographic information systems management master's program again was named number one in the nation by bestcollegereviews.org. In addition, Princeton Review named our Greary Academic Commons one of the top 20 best college libraries in the country. And finally, SU was ranked tops by the career platform Zipia as a best public college in Maryland for getting a job in 2020. Remember that as commendable as it is that you have grasped considerable knowledge of facts and theory during your advanced studies, the values underlying that knowledge are even more important. I hope that you will use the values you have learned here to fight injustice, promote peace and civility, and make the world a better place. In turn, you will help build and model a strong foundation of positive values for future generations. I hope that you will always remember your alma mater. Please keep SU in your hearts and minds and use the knowledge and skills you have gained here to make the world a better place. Congratulations. Now, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce Regent Meredith Mears, representing the University System of Maryland Board of Regents. Meredith Mears is widely known as a business, economic development, and commercial real estate professional based on the Delmarva Peninsula. For more than 20 years, Regent Mears has successfully led companies, governments, and communities through change. 
as a strategic leadership and project consultant that works with both the public and private sectors, Ms. Mears has worked with counties and statewide agencies, as well as small and large companies operating across the United States. In addition to her role as regent for the University System of Maryland, Ms. Mears serves on the boards of Leadership Maryland, Atlantic General Hospital, and Maryland Capital Enterprises. In 2020, she was named a top 100 woman in the state of Maryland by the Daily Record for her contributions in business, community, and mentoring. Regent Mears is a graduate of our very own Salisbury University. Welcome, Regent Mears. Greetings. I'm delighted to join you today, and I'm pleased to extend best wishes from the University System of Maryland and the Board of Regents. I want to thank and commend Salisbury University President Chuck White for his leadership of this important and community-focused institution. As a proud Salisbury Seagull, I'm especially grateful for all he does for my alma mater. And of course, there is so much I want to say to the graduate degree candidates we honor today. I want to offer my condolences that it had to be this way, that a global pandemic turned so much of the world upside down depriving you of the celebration you deserve. But I have no doubt that your family and friends who helped and supported you throughout your academic career are so proud of you. I also want to express my admiration that under these unimaginable circumstances, this time of utter uncertainty, you persevered. The resilience, adaptability, and tenacity you have internalized will serve you well throughout your career and your life. And above all, I want to say congratulations. Nothing, not months of remote learning, not face coverings and physical distancing, and certainly not a move to a virtual commencement, can diminish in the slightest what you have achieved here at Salisbury University. The knowledge and experience that you received here, that you earned here, are yours forever. And if I may take a moment to offer just a few words of advice as in keeping with the spirit of commencement, I encourage you to seek out work that you care about, that you are passionate about. I can tell you from experience, if you get that right, everything else falls into place. I also hope that once you are able to, you support and invest in your community. It's important to give back to the people places, and things that helped shape you. Lastly, I urge you to heed advice often attributed to Walt Whitman. Be curious, not judgmental. Remain open. Let yourself be ignited by new ideas, opportunities, and possibilities. Today, you graduate from an institution recognized nationally for excellence. No matter what direction your life now takes, no matter what challenges you next confront, know that your education here has prepared you well. I also know that your time here at Salisbury University, as different as it was from my time here, will stay with you. In so many ways, SU will always be a home for you, and that is a true blessing. Once again, congratulations to all of you, and know that the entire University System of Maryland family wishes you all the best in the years to come. Thank you, Regent Mears. I now introduce Dr. Lily Leonard, president of the Salisbury University Alumni Association. Dr. Leonard is a two-time graduate of Salisbury University. In 2009, Lily earned a Bachelor of Arts, followed by a Master of Education in 2011. She went on to earn a Doctor of Education degree from Frostburg State University, and today serves as a Senior Director of Development Operations at the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association in Frederick, Maryland. Welcome, Dr. Leonard. Thank you, Dr. White. As a proud two-time graduate of SU, I'm honored to be with you today at your virtual commencement. Today, you join an exceptional and energetic group of Salisbury University alumni. Your class in particular has been faced with unprecedented adversity, but through that adversity, you have adapted and persevered. These traits will serve you well throughout life. Today, 
We welcome you into a robust community of more than 55,000 other alumni supporting you and cheering on your accomplishments. Make good use of them by remaining involved with SU through participation in the activities and events that the Alumni Association has to offer. Keep in touch with the Alumni Office and let us know where you are and what you're doing. We look forward to congratulating you on continued successes throughout your life, just as we congratulate you today. And now it is my honor to announce the 2020 Faculty Appreciation Award recipients. Earlier this fall, the Awards and Scholarship Committee comprised of members of the Alumni Association Board of Directors, met to select a recipient from each of the four endowed schools and the College of Health and Human Services. To be eligible, nominees have served on the faculty full-time for at least 10 years, have made a lasting impression on students, have provided dynamic classroom instruction, exhibit attributes graduates can take with them into their careers, and have made a difference in the lives of their students. I am pleased to announce our 2020 award recipients, Dr. Scott Mazzetti, College of Health and Human Services, Dr. Michael Lewis, Fulton School of Liberal Arts, Dr. Sophie Wang, Henson School of Science and Technology, Dr. Leonard Arvey, Purdue School of Business, and Dr. Ron Sires, Seidel School of Education. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Leonard. At this time, I introduce Mariana Agazio, representing the Graduate Student Council. In 2019, Ms. Agazio earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in history at SU. As a graduate student at Salisbury University, Mariana is working toward a Master of Arts degree in history. Welcome, Mariana. Thank you, Dr. White. To the class of 2020, congratulations. While this year has not gone like we had hoped, with our plans being changed or canceled, our current situations altered for our safety, and our future endeavors seeming very uncertain during these times, fellow classmates, you did it. You all have made it through. You should be very proud of your resilience and tenacity, making the most of your last college days through these uncertain and trying times. It's time, though, for you to move on to your next chapter, one full of excitement and curiosity for what the world holds for you. As Steve Jobs once said, quote, you've got to find what you love. Your work is going, to be a, is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you hadn't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle, as with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you find it. And with that, remember your Salisbury family will be here cheering for you and supporting you on whatever life takes you. Again, congratulations and good luck, class of 2020. Thank you, Mariana. I am pleased to introduce Dr. Clifton Griffin, Dean of Graduate Studies and Research. Thank you, Dr. White. Our mission in the Office of Graduate Studies and Research is to foster a spirit of collaboration and to provide excellent service in research and graduate studies administration. Our work on the development, implementation, and maintenance of effective policies creates an atmosphere of success for our faculty and students. We support almost 1,000 Salisbury University graduate students in their graduate education, research, and scholarly activities. We're really proud of all of you. Now, I'm pleased to announce the names and project titles for our 2020 doctoral degree recipients. For the degree of Doctor of Education, Christine Wallace Davis, Understanding and Enacting Culturally Relevant Literacy Pedagogy and Practice. Megan Miller, Understanding the Literacy Experiences of Latina and Latino Migrant Farm Workers Across Home, School, and Other Contexts an ethnographic inquiry. For the degree of Doctor of Nursing Practice, Ryan C. Barnes, implementing a standardized diabetes education checklist for inpatient cardiac surgery patients. Tammy Ann Rakowski Bowers, use of social media for delivery of nutrition education to caregivers of children in a faith-based organization. Rachel Lee Boyce, partnership between Rural Hospital and Methadone Clinic, a maternal education program. 
Jill Suzanne Butterbaugh, Feasibility Study and Business Plan for the Restructuring of a University Health Center. Anastasia Deem, Nurse-Led Advanced Care Planning in Primary Care. Sarah Elizabeth Freiberger, Implementation of a Caregiver Education Tool in the Hospice Setting. Christina Wallace Hargis, Using a Bimodal Approach, Depression Screening and Physical Performance Testing to More Accurately Identify Depression in Community Dwelling Older Adults. Carrie Ann Kellums, Hereditary Breast and Ovarian Cancer Risk Assessment at Community Imaging Centers. Brianna Marie Sloan, Standardized Screening Tools for Substance Use in Primary Care Settings. Ali Marie Zentgraf, An Evidence-Based Quality Improvement Project, Skin Cancer Screening Education for Primary Care Providers. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you, Dr. Griffin. Good morning, my name is Karen Olmsted and I have the privilege of serving as Provost and Senior Vice President of Academic Affairs here at Salisbury University. I join President White and others in congratulating you on your perseverance to complete your academic programs, despite the challenges we face this year. I'd also like to thank the faculty, graduate assistants, and staff who mobilized to address the challenges presented by COVID-19. Many of our faculty expressed interest in enhancing their online teaching skills and more than 200 engaged in substantial development work to prepare for this academic year. I'm proud of the efforts of our faculty, including graduate assistants, to effectively migrate many of their courses to hybrid or online delivery, given the current public health crisis, and of the fact that SU is delivering more in-person instruction than most campuses in Maryland or across the nation. Much like this virtual commencement, we've had to do many things a little differently this year. Throughout 2020, we built community through virtual meetings and events too numerous to count. For example, across the year, students, faculty, and staff participated in dozens of campus dialogues, honor society inductions, and recognition ceremonies. Although these were held virtually, each was meaningful and an important way to connect our campus in a time of crisis. In addition to campus convenings, honor society inductions, and recognition ceremonies, we also held conferences and other gatherings, including our long-standing summer research celebration. This year, more than 20 undergraduate and graduate students participated in a virtual research conference on topics ranging from the development of children's stories that incorporate indigenous perspectives on science and philosophy, to an examination of middle school student mathematical reasoning, to the relationship of geography and well-being, to political engagement at Salisbury University. One of my favorite quotes is from Marcel Proust who wrote, the real voyage of discovery consists not in seeking new landscapes, but in having new eyes. I hope you found your graduate program at SU to be a voyage of discovery about the world around us, about the human experience, about the skills, knowledge, and dispositions necessary for your intended career path, and most importantly, about your ability to build the future you seek for yourself and your community. Thank you, Provost Olmsted and Dr. Griffin. At this time, I am very pleased to say degrees will now be conferred. I recognize the deans of our academic college and schools and ask them to present their candidates for degrees. We'll start with Dr. Kelly Fiala, founding dean of the College of Health and Human Services. Thank you, Dr. White. The College of Health and Human Services provides high quality programs that prepare students for productive careers as professionals in the areas of health and human services. With undergraduate degrees in community health, social work, nursing, exercise science, respiratory therapy, and medical laboratory science, master's programs in athletic training, applied health physiology, nursing and social work, and a doctoral program in nursing practice, the college provides a wide array of accredited programs that all exceed national standards for excellence. In the College of Health and Human Services, 
I present the candidates for the degrees of Doctor of Nursing Practice, Master of Science, Master of Science in Athletic Training, Master of Science in Nursing, and Master of Social Work. These candidates have had the opportunity to complete their programs of study and are recommended by the faculty for degrees. Congratulations. Next up is Dr. Martin Paraboom. Thank you, Dr. Fiala. Good morning. I am Martin Paraboom, Dean of the Charles R. and Martha N. Fulton School of Liberal Arts. The diverse and varied Fulton School of Liberal Arts plays a vital role in the academic experience of nearly every Salisbury University student. Our unique, vibrant, and well-respected educational community offers programs based in the visual and performing arts, the humanities, and the social sciences. In the Fulton School of Liberal Arts, I present the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts. These candidates have had the opportunity to complete their programs of study and are recommended by the faculty for degrees. Congratulations. Dr. Scott, you're next. Thank you, Dr. Paraboom. I'm Michael Scott, Dean of the Richard A. Hansen School of Science and Technology. The mission of the Hansen School is to provide an outstanding student-centered learning environment in which expert faculty empower students with knowledge and skills in the science, mathematics, and engineering. Within Henson School majors, students develop the knowledge and skills they need to function as professionals within their disciplines. The Henson School also has an integral role to play in liberal arts education, providing core courses in science for several programs in other schools at the university. From the Henson School of Science and Technology, I present the candidates for the degree of Master of Science. These candidates have had the opportunity to complete their programs of study and are recommended by the faculty for degrees. Congratulations. Dr. Weir, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Thanks, Dr. Scott. I am Christy Weir, Dean of the Franklin P. Purdue School of Business. Our students have the opportunity to study at one of the best business schools in the world. The Purdue School has worked diligently to obtain and maintain its accreditation by AACSB International, ena enabling SU to offer its students an outstanding business education. Our academic programs reflect the highest standards with an emphasis on the entrepreneurial spirit, teamwork, and friendly community outreach experiences. Our graduates enter their careers with a leadership drive to succeed and ethically serve business, government, and the community. I present the candidates for the degree of Master of Business Administration. These candidates have had the opportunity to complete their programs of study and are recommended by faculty for degrees. Last, but certainly not least, Dr. Laurie Henry. Thank you, Dr. Weir. Good morning. My name is Laurie Henry, and I'm the Dean of the Samuel W. and Marilyn C. Seidel School of Education. In the Seidel School of Education, our programs teach our graduates to incorporate an understanding of social context, cognitive and psychological development, and professional ethics into their practices. Our graduates leave SU with an understanding of human diversity and teaching practice to develop their students to their fullest potential. From the Seidel School of Education, I present the candidates for the degrees of Doctor of Education, Master of Arts in Teaching, and Master of Education. These candidates have had the opportunity to complete their programs of study and are recommended by the faculty for degrees. Congratulations. Now back to you, Dr. White. Thank you, deans. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the University System of Maryland, I hereby confer upon those of you who have completed requirements the degrees of Doctor of Education, Doctor of Nursing Practice, Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Business Administration, Master of Education, Master of Science, Master of Science in Athletic Training, Master of Science in Nursing, and Master of Social Work with all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations. Graduates, 
It is a great honor to have conferred to you your advanced degrees today in acknowledgement of your determination, intelligence, and ingenuity. Again, congratulations and best wishes for good health, great happiness, and many future successes. As noted earlier, the faculty have played an important role in your achievement. Faculty, thank you for the education and support that you have extended to the class of 2020. And let's not forget about the family members who have helped you along the way. Spouses, children, parents, siblings, friends, and others who supported you in countless ways, I thank you. Thank you for joining us today for this first virtual graduate commencement ceremony. We conclude today's ceremony with the singing of the Salisbury University alma mater. Oh.